Hi, this is John, and I'd like to take you on a tour of your Chromebook. If you have your copy of the Chromebook Classroom in front of you, you can turn to page 15 and follow along as I show you these elements. We'll be taking a look at three things, the shelf, the desktop, and the browser. First of all, let's talk about the shelf. The shelf is that long horizontal bar that appears at the bottom of your screen. On the far left side, you'll see the app launcher. And that will launch Google Search as well as some of your Chrome apps that you frequently use. By clicking all apps, you can see all the apps that you have installed. If you'd like to reorder or organize these, you can grab an app and drag it around or drop it on top of another app to make a folder. At the bottom of your Chromebook, you'll see a bunch of apps displayed. Now, you'll notice that the ones that I have installed are different than the ones that you have installed. These are apps that have been pinned to the shelf and are the ones that I most frequently use. When you first log into your Chromebook, you'll see the standard Google pinned apps, Gmail, Drive, and Calendar. But you can customize that. Simply find an app that you use frequently, right-click on it, and select Pin to Shelf. If there are apps on your shelf that you don't want to see, simply right-click on them and say Unpin. You can also drag them left and right to reorder them. On the far right side of the shelf, you'll see the system tray. And this is where you can sign out of your Chromebook, lock your Chromebook if you're going to step away from it, adjust your audio volume, change the keyboard layout, see your battery life, and access the settings. Just to the left of the system tray is your notifications area. If you download a file or receive a notification from a website, your notifications will appear here. Click the three uh, staircase icon to clear your notifications. The desktop is pretty straightforward. You can see I have a very colorful background today. If you right click on your desktop, you can adjust your wallpaper. There's lots of cool artwork to choose from. Unlike a Mac or a Windows computer, you cannot place files on your desktop. So it'll say nice and clean like you see this here. Finally, if you want to adjust your shelf, there's a couple of things that you can do. By right-clicking on an empty area of the shelf, you'll see that you can change the position. So if you would rather not have it on the bottom, you'd like to put it on the right side of your screen or on the top, you can do that. You can also elect to hide the shelf when not in use. This is handy because it, it disappears, giving you a little more screen space uh, when you're not using it. So that's a little bit about the shelf. Next, let's talk about the browser. The browser is the core element of your Chromebook. By clicking on the Chrome Beach Ball, which is probably on your shelf, you can open up the Chrome browser. And you'll have a very similar experience. If you've used the Chrome browser on a Mac or a PC or even your phone, you'll be very, very comfortable with it. Just a couple of key elements to be aware of. On the left side, you have your common browser controls back, forward, and home. You also have tabs across the top, and you can drag to reorder those tabs if you wish. Finally, on the right side of the Chrome browser, you will see some extensions. And we'll be talking more about extensions in this book study. The three dots on the far right side of the screen I refer to as the snowman. By clicking on the snowman, you can access your history, your bookmarks, and settings for the Chrome browser. So that's a quick tour of your Chrome browser. There's lots more to unpack, but that's a good introduction to get us started.